What is up, scrappers, tool addicts, tool collectors? Welcome to CC Scraps channel and restorations. How's everybody doing? It's Friday. Uh, thought I'd take this video. You see all this stuff sitting here on my bench. This was gifted to me. Another tool gift from my, uh, this was from actually my boss. Thank you, Joe. Much appreciated. Uh, we're just hanging out tonight on a Friday. There's some more stuff over here he gave me, but we'll save that for last. Uh, just hanging out on a Friday with a nice cold Modelo. Uh, let's get right into it and uh, start out with this uh, carpenter square here. Can't see a maker's mark on it. This thing's heavy though. It's like a freaking axe almost. Pretty cool, right? I like it. Uh, another ruler for like one of them little slider squares. I forget the name of them, but let me make sure we're in camera here. Let's do this. Here we go. How about that? What do you think? All right, so right here. Uh, some random brass. Is that a gullet brush? No, not a gullet brush, but uh, those are the things that go around the saw to clean it. Um, the saw blade. Uh, it's like a piston cleaner or something like that. Wire brush. Got some socket holders. These are always handy because I got a, a ass load of sockets. Uh, don't know if you gave me this or not. I can't remember. But regardless, it's in. It, we're going to get all this stuff off it. Um, this Craftsman 12-point uh, uh, quarter-inch socket, or uh, sorry, half-inch socket. I have this. I need this for my collection, actually. It's the uh, Craftsman. It's got the EE. Can you guys see that? I'm just showing you random stuff here. It's hard to see because I got you guys facing, like, I can't see my camera. It's facing like I was taking a video, like holding it, taking a video, so it's not turned around. I get a better uh, a better picture this way. I can focus a little bit better with the phone, and uh, um, it, with, when you turn it around, you can only zoom in a little bit, and everything else is kind of out of focus. So, all right, unless we're out of focus now, I don't think we are. A uh, nice center punch, glass cutter by this is by Fletcher. I have another glass cutter around. That makes three now, I think I have, or two. Maybe three. Probably three. Uh, the center punch. Some uh, random parts of some air tools. I can use these because I have a crap load of air tools. Or not air tools, but compressor parts. Little paint sprayer. A uh, couple pieces to an angle grinder. I can always use the guards for that or the nut. Always good to have. Uh... I'm keeping this some kind of like random clamp. I don't know what this is. Uh, another part of, does this go? No, that doesn't go with that. This looks like a bottom to some kind of like light maybe. But I could actually have use for this, to be honest with you. I think I can fix something with, that I have for that with this. Thank you. Sharpening stone. Uh, some little crimpers. Crimp, crimp. This, I don't know what this is. This looks like kind of like an electrician's tool. Um, don't see a maker's mark. Tommy, if you're watching this, uh, let me know, dude. Or, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you know, you got ourselves a Pittsburgh nipper. This makes my second one of these. I use these a lot, actually. These are cool. Thank you. Looks like there's some uh, leather working tools here. Looks like a rivet press. Got a nice leather punch. This one's in some good shape. This one's in better shape than my last one. It looks like some kind of a button press, maybe. If I'm correct, let me know. If not, let me know what they are. You guys out there that work uh, cloth and leather. Uh, some shelf brackets. Uh, some U-bolts. I like having these around. Uh, another little one. A ass load of studs for a dang stud welder. A ass load. Whoops. It's a nice grip. I can make punches out of these. I can throw, make them darts, throw them at people. This is going to be good. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> uh, got a small set of Dunlop wrenches. Now I'm going to start collecting Dunlop because I don't have any, and now I do. So I'm going to start looking for these at the flea markets. Look at the way they did these up, man. That's pretty nice, right? Back in the day. Uh, another open-end wrench. This is maybe a... I can't see what that says. Uh, let's use the brush. Still can't see what it says. 
fleet maybe can you guys see that williams fleet i can't see what that says uh the camera will uh fuller uh slide jaw pliers it's a nice shape gotta see hemostat yeah buddy now you're speaking my language <laughs> no, i'm just kidding these things are uh good for uh like if you're gonna you need to hold on to something or grab like a nut or a bolt out of something these things work perfect to hold wire you know you could lock it like that if you're soldering something or if you know like i said if you got to reach in and grab something like if you drop a nut or a bolt somewhere kind of like that let's set it somewhere where we can't reach it i still can't see Ta -ta -da. thanks dude these are going to come in handy um uh some tweezers always good to have tweezers these are some nice ones too. i remember when i was a chef i would use these to place like the microgreens and all that other bullshit that you had to put on plates i was actually a great chef uh the last restaurant job i had i was running a uh it was basically a three-star restaurant at embassy suites in uh on carrier circle um i was their executive chef and it might sound like glamour and gleam but uh it was right up there with one of the worst jobs i ever had the hours were ridiculous um it's really hard to communicate with people because just because um they just i, I don't know it was it was a tough job um my best friend was a food and beverage director, so we ran the kitchen together, and we, were, we, we owned a bar together, too, so we kind of knew how each other thought, so everything worked well, and when I got there, the hospitality, not to, you know, toot, toot my own horn, but the hospitality section of the hotel was, like, in the mid to low 20s when I got there, and when I quit that job eight months later, it was high 80s to low 90s, and that's a fact. Look it up, Embassy Suites. Um... You know, I actually had creative freedom. And the last job I left from Embassy Suites to go there, I had no creative freedom. Um, it, you know, I was a kitchen manager with no authority. Like, everything I do was undermined and no one listened. And the owners wouldn't want to have meetings, which is like, you can't go to the owner of a restaurant and ask him, hey, I want to have a meeting. Can you sit in on it? And then she tells you, well, I don't do meetings. Well, then I don't know how I can help you. Uh we got ourselves a fleet, and you and you guys that know me locally know exactly what place I'm talking about. It's funny that you guys keep calling me and want me to come back. Uh, let me think. No, um, y'all haven't done it lately. Thank you because I'm gonna still tell you no. Uh, we got ourselves a fleet uh, vice grip. This thing's badass. That's gonna go with my vice grip collection. That will make. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. 12 lucky 13 man rock and roll dude thank you uh a bunch of fleet sockets uh some random metal i think these go with these u-bolts probably do kind of looks like it uh gave me some cool drill bits and a spade bit i always love these but you know what i'm always breaking these things for some reason because i don't know because i'm heavy-handed or they're dull or i don't know maybe i just don't know how to use them but i get the job done it, it works but sometimes they get broken uh got ourselves a couple nut drivers what i'm probably going to do is heat these handles up pop them off and put them on some of my screwdriver handles that i like that are wonked on and i caught i caught a cool way to uh do this uh if you watch scout crafter he puts them in a vice and kind of like takes two pry bars and does prize them out and then they pop right out i don't know if you heat do, do you heat them up first or no i can't remember but uh we got ourselves some little tiny screwdrivers. I love these things. These things clean up good too. They're kind of pain in the ass because they're little, but they're I like them. Uh, another uh, screwdriver. This one's in kind of nice shape. Another wooden handle screwdriver, right? Like that one, remember my restore? If you guys roll my videos back, if you're new to my channel, I restored the screwdriver in a couple videos back. Um, it's just a really big wooden handled screwdriver. Um, if you don't know the way I do things, I don't, there's a bunch of reasons why I don't restore things back to pristine. Cause number one, I don't have that much skill. And number two, I use a lot of my tools. 
Some things are going to be wall hangers, like if that Bonnie wrench that I did, if you guys are new to my channel. Um, I restored a Bonnie wrench for a wall hanger. I can't get the... Uh, I can't get the jaws to move on it, and I've been tapping on it, and and I'm going to keep tapping on it more and probably ruin what I did, but then fix it again. What I like to do my, like, you see, like, these, you know, like, the embellishments and the dings and the history, like, somebody, you know, pounded on it, or who knows what they did, but I cleaned it up really good, and I just kept it, you know, I kept it real, kept it, you know, like, I used this yesterday, actually. So they, they all stay used and hit it with a thing of clear coat and I think it'll be okay. And that sucks because my fat gut just knocked down the next display I was going to show you guys. And now one of them's lost forever, but Allen wrenches. I love having Allen wrenches. I have a I have probably a hundred Allen wrenches. And I really like the ones that they always have like a screwdriver bit on the back. I like these kind. Um, they're weird. That's why I like them. Yeah, a bunch of Allen wrenches. Uh, then, three more stubbies to the collection. That leaves, bear with me, you guys. I'm just rambling on. Whoop. If you want to click away, go ahead. You know, if I'm boring, I'm sorry. Uh, but I really love my tools, man. I love to scrap, too. Uh, let's see what we got. Two, four, six, times four is 24, and three is 27. 26, I'm missing one on the thing. 27 stubbies, y'all. And this one is really my favorite. Next to the uh, next to the fleet and the Dunlop wrenches, check out this wooden handle screwdriver. Well, I love these, man. This thing is has has a lot of had a lot of use to it. It's got a little bend to it, but we're gonna straighten that out um, one way or another. We're gonna get it straight. Uh, but even like it, it feels just like these things are just they. You know, they just, they feel good in your hand. Like, you can use them. You know what I mean? Well, you can use every one of them. But it just, you know, if you're really wrenching on something and it, you know, you, sometimes these little plastic handles got a little scratch and they hurt your, your hand and you know what I'm saying. All right, so let's take you out of the cradle. This is all the stuff. Oh, and then just some random tin. This is left in the bottom of the pail. Um, that's just going to go in my, in my <coughs> excuse me, in my tin, tin bin. And then uh, we'll take you out of the cradle and show you all what's going on here. And this is a little off subject, everybody, but when I came into the shop earlier to do this video, I look over here and I see a little creepy mermaid doll. Now, anyone that knows me, you probably don't know me, like the people out on YouTube don't know me, but I hate dolls and I hate clowns. I hate spiders. I hate anything that's, you know, like fast. That's, you know... A fast like roaches I hate them um I'm really creeped out with bugs in general um and clowns and dolls so I see the creepy little mermaid and they're evil as hell look look at Pirates of the Caribbean them sirens they were mermaids and they brought you to kill you or do whatever the hell they wanted with you so the little mermaid was evil everybody out there all you little kids that think the mermaids are, are nice. Uh, <laughs> I just ruined it. Um, and then I come over here and I see this one sitting here peeking at me like like over by my bench grinder. Kind of walk over here and look at you know some of these nuts and bolts that I got from work or whatever. Figure out what to do with them. And boom. Now right behind my crafts and bench grinder is a creepy little doll. Right? Weird. So then I asked Mrs. CC Scraps. I go, hey. Mrs. CC Scraps, what's up with all these dolls and stuff in my, uh, you know, workshop? She goes, well, I didn't do it. And I said, well, okay. You didn't? And I go, well, who did? She goes, the ghosts. I go, oh, the ghosts. Okay, well, since you're down with, like, the doll fairies and the ghosts, why don't you have the doll fairies send me talk to the tool fairy and bring me some tools? How about that? Wouldn't that be cool? I think it would be. <laughs> Oh, I just wanted to share that with you. Oh, and then there's a video of me. She hid like this clown like diorama thing in the spare bedroom. And that's where we have the cats. We keep the food in the litter box in there because no one lives in the spare bedroom. So, yeah. So then she, uh, you know, she has this thing hidden. And it looks like it's coming out of the pillows in the bed. And I freaked out. She's got it on video and maybe she'll send it to me. This is just some stickers I put up. Uh, that's where I work. My birth date, 
Just some random stickers. More stickers, you know, military stuff like that. Uh, Scout Crafter, this is your sticker. And I was a bonehead when I was trying to make a magnet out of it and I put the wrong end on and this is what happened. And I do apologize. But that's you, dude, thank you. Uh, snobby Picker, Scrap Picker, Dusty Blonde. You guys aren't on YouTube anymore. Um, I haven't seen you around. Hope you all are doing well over in the UK. You want to watch Restorations? George, what's good? Thanks for the sticker. Ali Mac Mechanical, great channel. Great mechanic out of Scotland, I believe. And uh, his wife, Braveheart Scrapper. I have a sticker of hers, but it's stuck to something metal in here, and I can't seem to find it at the time, but it's there. Um, k and Scrapping, great micro-scrapping channel out of Canada. We all know who this handsome devil is, right? Ah, ha, ha. Um, this is one of my old business cards. We're going to get some new stickers of these, some different business cards made, and Mrs. CC Scraps is going to draw another sticker for me for the channel. Uh, and that's about it, really. Friend John's uh, sister made that. Now that's America, right? Hell yeah. Uh, all right, well, I don't know. All right, so we're back. Um, so a couple of things I forgot um, to show you guys are these scissors. They're made in Japan, but they're really nice, really nice scissors. This will go over here. I collect some scissors, you guys. Make another thing for him, maybe. And that's not all the scissors I have, you guys. These are just the cooler ones that I like and that I want to mess around with. And Whoa, future. Uh, there's that light from... Uh, there's so much stuff in the shop. It needs to be organized. There's crap falling over. He gave me that pickaxe right there. That thing's cool. I have another head to one. And he told me, uh, Tractor Supplier, this place in Fulton, or on the way to Fulton, I think it's called On The Way Hardware, it's like a little ma and pa, you know, like real, like, down-home country hardware store that aren't here anymore because of, like, Lowe's and Home Depot and as much as I hate to say at Harbor Freight. Um, uh, and I don't say I hate that because of Harbor Freight. I love Harbor Freight. My whole shop is Harbor Freight, practically. Um, but I mean, like, you know, just not I, – I mean, the big the – big, the big name stores is what I'm trying to get at. Um, kind of did away with all that mom and pop stuff, which is kind of crappy. It is what it is, though. Um, moving on. This electric snow brush. I haven't used it yet, but it probably works. And we'll see how it works. And then this one is the... the uh, This this one, dude, like I am, couldn't believe it. A spindle sander. Yeah. You know my boys at Harbor Freight. I wiped it down a little bit. Probably looks really new, don't it, Joe? Um, he uh, did uh, mounts for uh, deer heads and, and hunters and stuff. So that's why he had the spindle sander. It's kind of cool. Um, but, dude, I appreciate it. I'm probably going to, uh, maybe tomorrow, we'll uh, remove the covers and blow it out, so to speak. Um, get her all cleaned up inside and see what's going on with that. But, uh, oh, and the last but not least, this is cool. I've been eyeballing these for for a few weeks at Walmart. An old school little baby beer fridge. Look it. It's got some adults and they're cold chilling. Because you know damn well it ain't going to be White Claw or Bud Light. Actually, I'm kind of thirsty. Let's grab one of them right there. Yeah, buddy. And I kind of like the little retro look, too, it gives. That little, you know, old school font. And this thing's light as hell, too. It'll hold two 12-packs. Or what I'm thinking, like, Modelo's, it'll probably hold four. But that's all I really need, four at a time. And if I get super thirsty, I'll just go back in the house and get more beer. Um, but, yeah, two 12-packs or four. I don't know. It might hold a six or, like, skinnier bottles, but these are kind of fat, so they won't fit three-way. But I don't care, man. Thank you so much, dude. That's a cool gift. I appreciate it. Uh, that's really about it, you guys. Uh, I'm going to leave all this stuff on the bench till tomorrow and deal with it then. And next video you see, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. I would like to do another resto. Um, I would. On what? I don't know. We'll figure it out. It'll be a surprise, you guys. I don't know. Maybe we'll clean up some shears or something over there. I got a whole collection of shears that are bagging to be cleaned. Maybe we'll do these ones. Yeah, maybe we'll do these ones. These things are beat up. Who makes these? Are these Wiss? 
No, no, solid forge, drop forge. Uh, I don't know who makes these, but we're going to clean them up. So this will be the resto for tomorrow. Unknown uh, sheet metal shears. Hopefully made in the USA. I can't tell. Maybe we'll uncover a mark when we wire wheel them. All right, one. We'll see you on the next, man. Tomorrow morning, bright and early. CC Scraps. Peace.